Hey guys, this is Chris from Android Pit, and uh, I have to say, since the announcement of Material Design, we've been pretty excited to see what the next major version of Android will look like. Uh, but we realize not everybody really knows that much about what the current version of Android looks like, so we thought today we'll take you through some of the Material Design features you can see in the L release developer preview uh, compared to the current version of Android, stock Android, uh, which is Android 4.4.4. So let's go take a look. Okay, so first things first, on the left we have a Nexus 5 running stock Android 4.4.4 and on the right here we have another Nexus 5 with the Android L developer preview. So as we've discussed in our other video, it's an unfinished version, so don't expect this to be exactly what the final version looks like, but for our purpose today of just showing some of the design differences between the two, you'll get an idea. So you can see on the, on the stock Android on the left, we don't have too much going on in terms of lock screen action. We have a little animation here and we have a shortcut that takes you straight to the camera, which incidentally is the old Android camera. If we have a look at the other Nexus 5 with the Android L preview on it, you can see we've got a lot more going on. We've got our notifications right up front on the lock screen. We also have the camera shortcut and we also have the dial shortcut. So on the Android L preview, uh, it's actually now the Google camera, which has been uploaded to the Play Store as an independent app. So you can grab that right now if you like. The other thing, of course, is that we now have lock screen notifications, which is probably one of the most, uh, the, one of the biggest changes that you'll see in the next version of Android. Because not only do you not need to unlock your device to access your notifications, you can actually respond to them direct from the lock screen as well. So I've got an email here, I can reply to that, it'll take me straight to my Gmail app. And that was the, uh, the new keyboard as well, which you can also download uh, unofficially from the Play Store. So let's take a quick look at those notifications again. So you can see as you unlock, we've got this nice sort of parallax effect going on as they slide up. Um, obviously, if you slide down, you will expand them as you just saw, and then you can scroll through them. So we have some weather information and we're connected to Android Wear. If you swipe down again, you can see the quick settings pop down from the top. Now that's something on the current version of Android you actually have to be in an unlocked device to access, so we'll show you that in just a second. Uh, but in the Android L preview and undoubtedly in the final version, you'll have access to your quick settings direct from your lock screen. Um, at the moment there's some nice little animations that go along with those, and obviously you have your brightness settings right away as well. So let's take a look at this one. So when we unlock over here, to get to our notifications, we do the familiar swipe down from the top. Uh, so we have some Google Now information there. And if we want to get to our quick settings, we have to tap that button to then bring them up. Um, of course, with stock Android, you can also do a double swipe to access the quick settings uh, straight away. So it's the same thing on the other Nexus 5. If we swipe down from the top, we will get our notifications again and another swipe down brings up our quick settings. Exactly the same as you get from the lock screen. So you can also see there's some changes on the home screen as well. We have new navigation buttons at the bottom here, uh, looking a little like a PlayStation. So let's take a quick look at a couple of things to give you an idea of the style changes that Google are making. So if we go into the dialer, you can see that in the current version of stock Android, things are fairly similar. You've probably seen this before, whether you own a stock Android device or not. Um, but basically the dialer has been refreshed a few times recently. We've got our contact cards there for people we call most frequently, and we bring up our dialer that way. Okay, so on the other Nexus 5 with the Android L, we've got a slightly different setup. We've got another refresh of the design of the dialer and we've also got some nice little animations um, which we've shown you in our other preview as well. So there's also a tabulated view here so you can see your contacts. We don't have any of course because this is just a demonstration model. Um, but there's nice little animations that go along with everything and you can really get a sense that with the Android L release Google is actually, it's kind of like skinning Android itself. The stock version of Android is actually going to be a lot more like a manufacturer's skin. It's no longer just a bland kind of uh, framework for other manufacturers to ladle their kind of um, effects on top of. So let's go back into the settings really quickly. And you can see we have a new uh, designed icon for the settings as well. 
So again, this, as I said in our last video, there's a little bit of familiarity going on here with the settings menu. It looks a little bit like some other devices we've seen uh, recently. And you can see on the existing version of stock Android, it's really just a basic layout of all of the stuff that you need. Um, but there's a little bit more style, I guess, going on in the L preview. There's other versions of the settings menu floating around the, uh, the net, so there may be some changes in the final version, we don't know yet. Um, but you can see, again, Google's obviously taking a little bit more, paying a little more attention to design, as we would expect with the emphasis on material design. So let's go back. Actually, let's just go into our recent apps. So you can also see this nice sort of Rolodex effect going on. Um, whether that is good for you in terms of multitasking, I'll leave up to you to decide, but it's obviously the, the new Google Now card sort of system that is going to pretty much take over the next version of Android, as opposed to the simple scrolling list that we had on the current version. So let's go back into the settings. Now, if we go to power, where are we, battery. So one of the other things we'll get in the next version of Android is some great features that at the moment come either from custom ROMs, sometimes from manufacturers and sometimes from third party apps. Uh, things like uh, a built in battery saver straight into the core Android experience. There's going to be some others like uh, some privacy settings and other things like that, as well as Google Fit, which uh, will be baked in completely as well to support Android Wear and the whole range of wearables that we built on that platform. So at the moment, stock Android will just give you a basic rundown of what's chewing your battery, but the new version of Android will give you a battery saver option. So there we go, that's some of the main visual differences that you can see between stock Android as it stands at the moment and what we will undoubtedly be seeing uh, in the next few months from Android 5.0. Perhaps that will be what it's called, maybe Lollipop, maybe Lamington, <laughs> maybe Licorice, we will wait and see. Um, there's other changes that are going to be made to the new version of Android as well. We'll obviously see Art replace Dalvik as the default runtime, which will speed things up significantly. And we'll also see a little bit more emphasis on performance as well. Obviously, we will now have support for 64-bit processing, so that will be exciting stuff as well, as well as some improvements to graphics performance. So until we get the final version, guys, stick with us. We will pull apart as much of the old release as we can. Uh, like the video if you have. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and of course, check out all the usual social channels and the website and app, of course. Till next time, guys, this is Chris from Android Pit.